What's up guys, my name's Andrew. My name's Lionel. And today we're at ProDirect Play at Play Football. And it's all about innovation. So we're going to be talking tech talk with the brand and put the boots to the test. And we've learned to walk backwards. That's right. We're here with Adidas and we're here to check out the latest innovation. We've got the pure control, which is all about controlling everything. And we've got the pure chaos, which is all about causing chaos. And we've got Sam from Adidas. What can you tell us about the Prime Knit Upper? We wanted to give the feel of a personalised fit to everybody. The Prime Knit allows us to do that. So it's nice and flexible. That means it'll mould to the foot. So we actually don't have any wear in time for this boot at all. What is the benefit of not having no laces on that boot? Not having any laces allows a nice clean vamp. So again, for that first touch, you get a nice clean touch. And again, for striking the ball, you get a really nice clean strike. Pure chaos. This is what everyone wants to hear about at home. This boot is effectively a compression garment for your foot. So again, it's going to multi-foot, give you that nice tight feel over the foot. What's the benefits of the NSG grip? Now, what it's designed to give you is all-weather control. So what we've got is tiny little silicon dots, which we'll see, can you see just yeah, there? Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're designed, again, to operate in all-weather situations. So whether it's wet, whether it's dry, you're going to get the same touch and the same ball. So the sprint frame is something we've actually brought back. So it's a really nice lightweight material, it's a TPU. So it's not a carbon fibre, but it's supremely lightweight. What it's designed to do is give you a nice, stable outsole. So again, it comes up to the heel counter here on both boots, so you can see it's some protect around the heel. So these circular studs on the Ace yep. are designed for twisting motions. Okay. Whereas on the X, we know that guy's looking to change direction really quickly. Yeah, he is. So it's designed for a full turn in circle. Yeah, so we've got he some is. flat sides, and we've also I'm got here. the teardrop. So you're allowed to twist as well, and you've also got the flat side for changing direction quickly. Because uh, you don't need that. Give me my boot back. Oh, my boot back. Guys, that's our tech talk on the boots with man like Sam. Thanks for that. No worries. No worries. Appreciate it. Cheers, guys. Right, it's time to test these babies out. Let's go. Sam, you getting involved, yeah? All day, yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> now, Andrew fancies himself a bit of the speed, so I really don't know why. I just like the cool chaos, to be honest. Yeah, okay, bro. But we're putting the pure chaos to the test. Andrew, time to step up. I've got this. Get coming. Like Saturn's mode. Kill him softly with kindness and gratitude. Guys, so Andrew's in the starting position. He's going to sprint straight up to the middle cones with the ball in the middle. Go straight out right with the ball, dribble in and out, come back across to the other cones, in and out as well. Back down to the middle, straight up towards goal and make sure he finishes. But has he got the finish on him though? You know, his knee's been acting up a bit lately. I heard it went before we even started, so. One, two, three, go. Oh, looking slow already. Yeah, in and out them cones with control. Oh, okay. Back down through the middle. Looking good so far. Yes, nice bit of control there from you. Didn't expect that. Never thought that. Oh, he gave us a bit of skill with finishes. You've done pretty well, you know. Done pretty well. 24 seconds. Hey, the now. knee's coming back. The knee's coming back. How did you feel with the pure chaos as you're going through the speed drop? Do you know what? I love them. You can't really feel them. Like, that's, that's something for me that I look for on the boot. When you're playing and you don't really notice them on your feet, that is like the whole point of a boot for me. I think I can be a, the next Suarez. <laughs> oh, well, that's the speed drill done. I put pure chaos to test. Andrew himself, time to move on to the next one. It's time to put the pure controls to the test. It's all about control this drill, because he thinks he's a bit of a baller. So let's test him out. This drill here, what we're going to do, we're going to ping a ball to Lionel. I'm not going to actually do it, because it's a bit small. But ping a ball to Lionel here. He's got to control it. Oh, oh! Now, from this point, he's got to pick an area of the pitch where he wants to fizz the ball. So you've got zone one and zone two over there. You get one point for those. In the goals area here, we've got the two corners where he's going to get three points for each time he gets a goal. I'm going for bin. You're going That's for the wide areas. About. You're going for you the know, wide areas. You know when you're all about this boot, the control. You know, uh, uh, mm, so let's go. One. Yes. Ooh, bad touch. Got to be in the zone, G. Ah! So you got one point so far. Ooh, touch there. Ooh, three points. Test me, baby. Oh! Ooh. I should set out that one. Touch. Oh! That's four points. You only got one there and you scored there. What happened, dude? I tried to be a punk, bro. That was ill. Tried to risk. Not necessarily worked out, but that's what this boot is all about. It's about you stepping up to the plate and being that person that controls the game. Yeah, what do you think about the boot, bro? You know what? 
I'm loving it. I feel the traction's nice on it. I feel the surface for that ball, for that touch, that first touch, leaves you with no excuses, you know, that prime knit. You feel like you break into it straight away. The whole idea of having no socks on it as well is perfect as well. So, how was it? How was it having no laces on the boot though? That was it weird. It's like it's just no distraction, you know. It's no yeah. distraction on the boot. So when that when you touch that ball, you know there isn't that knotted lace that let that ball just go away off quickly. You know what I mean? So. So what happened feel, there then? Well, that was me going a spectacular way. But I think we should do it again. I think we should do it again. Right? <laughs> Guys, up next, we've got Puma Evo Speed Fresh and we've got the main man, Taylor, from Puma. So we're going to start with the main thing about it, the upper. So you see in the upper, mm -hmm. you have a special ventilation system built in to allow breathability. Lionel needs that, his feet massive and they sweat <laughs> nasty. Really? Really? Can you tell us more about the sole plate, please? The outsole is specially made nylon material. Yeah. So we're lightweight from the ground up. Yeah. So in the heel, you have an optimum combination of conical studs and blades. Yep. Nice. The conical studs allow you oh. to get purchase into the floor, and the blades allow you to push off laterally. So the guys that wear this boot are the guys that are going to be the sprinters on pitch, but they don't just I want to be there. You're not fast, all right? <laughs> You're not fast. Wow. You're not fast, wow. all right? We live in Viva Hova. Taylor, thanks for taking us through every aspect of the boot. I can't wait to keep my feet cool in this. But you bought a special prize for us here. I did, I did. You got the V106. Ooh. For the 2006 World Cup, we brought this out specially. It was at the time it was the lightest boot in the world. It was the first time anyone had looked into using different materials in the upper. There's your evolution of speed, and it's time to go test these bad boys. You had no speed or agility, bro. I have it. You don't. Taylor, he doesn't have it. <laughs> right, guys. Time to test the Evo Speed Fresh. We've got the perfect drill set up for it, and it's all about agility. Andrew, take us through it. What we're going to do is go in and out the cones, hopefully faster than that when he does the real thing, into a left foot finish. Now, back in and out the cones quickly. There you go. That's section one. Right, into ladders now. So in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Love that. And that's section two. Into the hurdles. So quickly over, around the cone. And that's section three. Now from section three to section four, into the ball. Quick touches, quick skill and finish. And that's our agility drill. So we've run you through it. Now it's time to put it to the test. Right guys, we've spoken to the tech guys, we put the boots through their paces, now it's time to head back to the LDN 19, where it's time for even more innovation. Catch you guys there. Massive thanks to the G-Form guys for putting on today's event for us. Really amazing to have you guys here. Some of you guys come all the way over from the States just to visit LDN 19 and of course, check out the G-Form showcase. She said I'm gonna in that you see like a Doberman or like a... Right guys, we've got Bob from G-Form here. Can you tell us a bit about how you guys made your connection into football? We had actually been making bike product, which was mainly to cover the elbows and the knees, which is, you know, primarily the two areas that get most damage. Yeah. Little known footballer named Neymar. Oh, little known. Little Neymar. known, right? Pretty passionate mountain biker. Oh. He, uh, he actually took one of our knee shins and he slid it down down to, to create the world's first soft soccer shin guard. So he kind of gave us the inspiration. Neymar Jr. Yeah. About that same time, we were working with Pele, who was interested in, in helping us develop that product. The legend. The legend. Right. It's only if you forgot. He don't take a lot of Ned, I know you love the shin guards already, and you're already playing in them. What's your favorite thing about them? I love this shin guard because when you put it on, it doesn't feel like you're wearing shin pads at all, and everybody hates wearing shin pads. Getting your tape out, putting the ankle guard on, all those little bits that you might do, G-form, no need for that anymore. Plus, if it gets dirty, you just chuck it in the washing machine. No more stinky shin pads. And I know you had stinky shin pads. You know, it was really important to us to make sure that we developed a product that the players at the highest level enjoyed wearing and actually sought out. And that's kind of how the, the shin guard was born. 
Right guys, that's a wrap on today's innovation. We've tested boots, we've talked to the brands, and G-Form has shown us how they're forming the future. Until next time guys, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Peace.